Well, it was 1952, and uh, Nancy and I both came from our homes and uh, we were attending Western. When I came to Western in 1964, I was the first class that lived in the valley. I lived in Harvey Garneau Hall. I uh, worked for two years there in the kitchen. And um, I worked in the kitchen as the salad girl. So I, I, I was like walking to this guy's apartment and they came and I saw them driving up in the car so I went to say hi to my other friend who we both knew. She hated me. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. Maybe. I did not hate him. <laughs> hate is too strong a word, but you thought I was too old. Yes, yeah. I did. But I just kind of, I just kind of hung in there, so and convinced her that I was the right person for her. And I happened to be, and I don't know why, up on a stage in preparation to making some announcement. But she walked by. The first thing I said, "Say, would you get me a pop, please?" And she, she walks off, I'm sure, afterwards I thought, she said, who in the heck is that guy? <laughs> I was just like, he was going to the one of the Elmwood apartments that's kind of like hidden, but it was like sort of next to mine. So I offered to like, oh, let's show you like where the building is because you can't see it from the street. And we like talked for like 30 seconds in that walk and it was like instant connection. We were like walking shoulder to shoulder. I think it was even like I was on this side and she was on that side. And our shoulders like touched a couple of times and so I was like, ooh. <laughs> he just proposed right in the apartment, the condominium that he lived and showed me the ring. I still have it. <laughs> and I but said But yes. she's not telling you the details. So my plan was to go to Lake Michigan it was storming that afternoon, that evening actually, storming, and I couldn't hold it anymore. It's time I to had to wait a couple more days. I couldn't wait. <laughs> I was too nervous losing my single life that I had to propose right there, so right in the middle of my, uh, my condominium. <laughs> Not I, even flowers, I had nothing. It was just the Well, rain. the plan was different. It was a different plan. <laughs> this is a trip for GM employees and were invited to Detroit and they were wined and dined and taken to the theater and the next day we all boarded the North American and went up to Mackinac Island and this is just before we left and Nancy and I hosted the entire trip. Just knowing and feeling every day that she really does love me, that it's not fake, it's not BS. I truly feel loved every day by her which is awesome. And that, oh. <laughs> well, I do, it's true. I, I do feel very lucky to feel that every day. Like, my mom loves me, but that's like different. This is. She has to love yeah, me. Yeah, she's forced to. <laughs> I chose to. <laughs> so we go to Burdix, and we have, um, we have dinner, and he's like, um, I wanna, you know, let's just go driving. I'm like, okay. He's like, but you had to put a blindfold on. I'm like, oh, <laughs> so I am scared because I hear nothing. And I'm like, where are we going? He's like, just don't worry about it. Just, just calm down. So I get out, he sits me down and he takes my blindfold off and we're at the Oaklands um, on campus. And that was, um, that's where he proposed to me because that's where we decided we we're going to be a couple. So it was really, really sweet. She thought I was going to kill her. How about that? He did. I thought he was going to kill me. So <laughs> I want that for a proposal story. Yeah. But they were having a sale on diamonds. It started at 4 o'clock in the morning. And, and the earlier you, you got there, the more you got off and you had to come in your pajamas. Pajamas. And we went, oh, we could do that. So um, So you got 60% off. You showed up at either 4 or 5 o'clock wearing pajamas. And being college students, hey, that sounded like a great <laughs> idea to us. So, so we dressed up and we made our way over there in the morning. and. I bought her a giant, tiny little rock. A giant, tiny little rock. <laughs> we cannot separate now our history together, or our story together, um, from WMU.